Hello and welcome to the Matthias iOS Development Show with me, Matthias, your iOS developer. And today we're going to implement a Kingfisher loaded image from an API into a Swift UI based app and view. Now Kingfisher is a really good um, Kingfisher is a really good image loading library. I uh, highly recommend you use it. Of course, if you want to load an image from an API or from an online source, um, there's other sources you can make your own uh, natively in Swift. With Swift UI, it's a bit fiddly. Uh, using combine as well i've done it um for, for beginners i don't recommend it you use kingfisher first it's really good it really solves lots of your problems and um yeah let's let's start implementing it so the first thing you got to do is you got to enter it into your pod file now this works a bit special for kingfisher uh, this works a bit special for swift ui as in we're not installing the entire pod we are installing the pod kingfisher slash swift ui written like this and uh, that's a that's a that's a special part of the Kingfisher project, especially for SwiftUI. And then you gotta run pod install. Uh, now I've cheated; I've done this before. This is already in the project in se itself. And um, I also made us a nice empty app where all we see is a text called nothing here. Now, and um, the best way to deal with this is um, extract the Kingfisher image uh, into its own view. So we don't need to like build around it. So let's create a new file. And I'm going to name it. No, oh, come on. Kingfisher image view. And um, this is how we're going to build it. We're going to say func kingfisher no, image view the url as a parameter from the string let's do this again and this is how we're going to do it first of course we need swift ui because this will resolve to a swift ui view and um then we're going to need the kingfisher image view so i'm going to say kingfisher import struct kingfisher dot kf image now we're going to import this separately because um kingfisher has some terms inside of it which conflict which terms in swift ui so i think view shows up in both so uh, there can be some confusion from programming side so this is why um we only we're only getting the kf image part from the actual library and not everything for now and then we're going to put our view on here we're going to call it func king no Kingfisher image view with a string URL as parameter. And we want to return a KF image. Now, and this is also a view builder function. So we want to attach the view builder parameter before it. Uh, right now it's bugging out because we're still not, re we are not um, returning a KF image. We'll fix it in a moment. And then we're going to say in here, KF image. And now it's time to put the parameters in here. We're going to say URL with our URL string. Probably good if you put in a check before if the string actually resolves to your to a URL. Uh, we're not going to do this now. And um, this should be it. So, yeah, our, um, do, 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 our bug is gone. And uh, I found us a nice cat URL I like to use for testing purposes and we're just going to put this in here so instead of saying nothing we're going to say kingfisher image view oh, come on url add this of course put it in quotation marks and let's run our project and see what happens oh now we got to boot up the simulator first hey check it out and now we got our cat picture here this is the simplest way to do this. Now we're going to add some more stuff around it, which which I highly recommend you do. So we're going to stop this, go back to our Kingfisher image view. And uh, one thing that is really good is adding like a light transition. So we're going to say options. And here we can add different loading options to it. And we're going to say transition with a fade of say 0.35 seconds. So what this does is when we load the image, we get this um, 
Uh, it doesn't it doesn't instantly appear it fades over over the duration of about a third of a second and what we also can do is um getting in an on success modifier and this is a no come on this basically uh will be run if you if the image is loaded successfully so you can say something like print and um this comes with a result parameter result in print image loaded successfully no this needs a double l and the same way you can do this is uh, with an on failure modifier so um whenever i do this and whenever i do this in a project i put an error message in here to tell me exactly okay how did the image fail to load which is very useful if you have um lots of images being loaded in the app so we're going to say error in print uh, failed to load image and let's add the error in here now this is already really useful what is really use what, what is even more useful is the placeholder so we can put a placeholder in here and uh, this will become basically your loading image no i said remove those so what i'm going to do here i'm going to just call a system image and uh, we're going to say image system name. Let's get a nice one from our SF symbols. So we're going to take a nice hourglass symbol. This is going to be our placeholder. You can do whatever in here. You can put a spinner in here if you want to. You can, you can put your own custom image in there, your own default image. That's always a good idea. And um, yeah, let's try this out again. And see if we can see the new differences. Hey, check it out. If you saw the image and um, uh, the image loaded over, like not instantly, but over like a short fade in, which is super nice. And we got this printout in here, image loaded successfully. If we uh, change the URL now to something that is not valid and we reload the entire thing, we will instead get uh, a load error and the placeholder image. So we got the hourglass image here now and it tells us uh hey fail to load image response error yada 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 so you can go through this this is a code for your free for free because yet yeah, url here doesn't work and doesn't exist and is not really useful and there's one more important thing we're going to do this which is what to do if you're loading a kinfish image if you want to load an image from your own api which requires authentication so uh if your api is private and you need to like log in first and get a token and you can load an image from this. How do we make this into this rig here? And the way we do this is um, first we gotta need we need another part of the Kingfisher library, which is the modifier. So we're gonna only only import this one here. Kingfisher any modifier. And then we will create this modifier. And this is where we can put in our um, request data or our more detailed data for a request and we're going to say modifier request in uh, modifiable request this is our request because the request we get here this one is a constant so we got to put it into its modifiable variable and uh, now we got a url request and now we can adapt it so I'm going to set it to, to get and now we're going to add well putting a return here to silence the compiler telling us hey this is wrong and uh what we're going to do now is of course now we got to add an on, uh, authentication header so you got to say modifiable request dot set value this is how can also set other value i'm going to put an empty string for now comma for http yeah this is right header field authorization and what is it going to do is it's going to say this value here Uh, it's going to say this value here for this authorization field and this is where you put your token for example this is where it would say bearer 
bearer, yada 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 yada, um, your nice token. And uh, and usually in my code, I have another function that creates this one and does the uh, base64 encoding for us. Right now, this is going to have to um, this is going to have to do, for example, purposes. And we're not done yet. Now we got to do something with this modifier we just created, and we add it to the options of our KF image call. So we say, no, first this one needs a comma. And we're gonna say options, request modifier, and we're gonna add our modifier. And now if this is correctly set up, this will connect to your own API, will do the, will uh, will log in correctly with the token we've created and get the image for you, which is pretty sweet, I think. And that's about it for today. Uh, Super glad, thank you for listening, and uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. This is how you make a Kingfisher image in SwiftUI. Uh, very curious to see you do it, and I'll see you next time.